Megan! Leo, what's this? This is a Utah Auto Title. If you own your car, you can take your title into a family pond near you and drive away with cash. That's so easy. It is easy. And the best part is, Family Pond has the lowest rates on auto title loans in southern Utah. What do you think, little baby? <laughs> Family Pond does not support or condone children standing on official state documents. Family Pond does, however, endorse and support children, talking babies, and low interest auto title loans. Family Pond shop for everyone. Family Pond. All right, we're here tonight after Dixie's 45 14 victory. Uh, Coach, first of all, this uh, a lot. Uh, the beginning first half was quite a different game than the first game played against them. Yeah, I mean, I knew Coach Peacock would have him ready to go. They do a great job, and I knew he was gonna, you know, put that last game away. And knew it was, you know, just one of those nights when his kids didn't play well. But he did a great job coaching them up. Came in with a new play, game plan, and you know, he did for the most part that first half. He had us confused. They on, in the first half they. They, four, four times they went on fourth, fourth and short and made it. Uh, is that something that's – he's pretty unconventional and he plays, but uh, is that something you expected? Yeah, you got to practice that stuff when you play him. You know, expect the onside kick, the fake punt, uh, all that kind of stuff. He'll go for it on fourth down. And, you know, with that offense, if he figures he can get three or four yards every down, he's going to get a first down if he goes for it on fourth down. So uh, he's going to pull out all stops and, and uh, see if he can beat you that way and ball control it. Now, in the second half, it seemed like the play that changed the momentum of the game was that forced fumble by uh, uh, Brax Nipson, who had a heck of a game. Yeah, he did a great job. I mean, that interception he returned for a touchdown there was, was probably a big turning point. You know, they probably still had a chance to get back in it with a touchdown and an onside kick, but, you know, he picked that off and ran it in. He just had a great game tonight. Yeah, talk about a little bit about your defensive line. Uh, I think Pulsifer got a sack, also Jones got a sack, and... Uh, just overall great play by your seniors tonight. Yeah, they did. We got nine seniors on defense, and, uh, you know, they came to play the second half. Like I said, we got off to a slow start when the game started, but uh, they weren't going to be denied tonight in the second half, and, and they did a great job. And got to give them credit and had a great plan by Coach Alofi Poe, and uh, I'll go on to next week. All right. Well, uh, do you, I don't know if we heard uh, who the winner is of Desert Hills or Stansbury yet, but uh, are you, do you guys plan, or are you guys just playing for this game and going to yeah. prepare for next week? Yeah, we haven't prepared for anybody. We just want to make sure we get by this one. You know, there's a lot of upsets in this round. Uh, a lot of ones went down last week, so we just want to prepare for this one, and we'll worry about next week. Next week. All right. Well, thanks once again, Dixie over Cedar, 45-14. Thanks, Coach. Right, thank you. Okay, we're here tonight after Dixie's win, 45-14 over Cedar. We're here with the, uh, the senior defensive lineman who had a heck of a game today. First, we'll start with Dustin Morehouse. Dustin, got a sack tonight. Tell us a little yes, bit sir. about that. Uh, it, was, it felt great. I just saw the feet and dough for it. You know, it was one of those things that just happened. Okay, on the defense, first of all, the beginning of the game, they, they were going on fourth and short. They got four yeah. fourth and shorts at the beginning of the game, and those long, sustained drives in the first half seemed to – to fire them up, tell me uh, how you what you, what changes did your coaches uh, talk about halftime defensively? Uh, you know we came out we came out a little flat. Gonna admit that uh, they pumped us up in the locker room big time. They just not really yelling at us, you know, but just getting us pumped up and psyched, telling us this could be our last game and it, it could have been, you know. So we just had to come out strong. Okay, let's go to Shad Pulse. We also had a sack tonight. Tell us a little bit about your sack. Well, uh, just <laughs> when the. When everyone does their job, it makes everyone else look good. So everyone did their job, and that's what happened. I now just you, got the credit. You play, you play on the end. Are you more of a defensive end or an outside linebacker? Defensive end, yeah. Talk about, uh, you know, defensive plays. The, the defensive play that when – and we'll talk a little more with uh, uh, with Braxton later. He forced a fumble, and that seemed to turn the game around, change the momentum. How important is momentum in a game like this? It's big when it's close like that. You got, they ain't got nothing to lose, so when they come out like that, come out fighting, it's big when you get a good play like that on defense. All right, thanks, Chad. Okay, we're going to switch over here to Stetson Jones. What, what position do you play, Stetson? I play middle linebacker and outside linebacker. Okay, but you also get down on – do you get down on the line at times too? When we're blitzing, yeah, I like to think I'm a lineman, but uh, for the most part I'm a backer. All right. Now, you uh, you also had a sack tonight, is that right? Yes, sir. Why don't you talk a little bit about that, how that set up? It was – I can't claim credit for that. I just uh, capitalize on what my line does. My line creates great gaps, let me come up and do my job. They do theirs, and I do mine, and it's just a solid offense. There, there was uh, in, the sec in the second half, first of all, after the forced fumble, you guys scored the, the field goal, but then you came back. They're still only three points down. 
and they get a 35-yard run off off uh, off tackle, and it looks like they're going to go in the score. And the next thing you guys do is you get those two sacks, and they're going to really kill the drive and force them to punt. Yeah, they forced our hand. They we uh, we didn't want this to be our last game, and neither did they. So they fought, and we fought harder, and we just wanted to come and make sure that we had a chance to show them what we really have at state. All right. Well, thanks, Stetson. All right. Let's talk to Braxton. Braxton, good game. First yeah. of all, you had that forced fumble. Like I yeah. said, it, it seemed to change the momentum of the game, though probably your halftime, uh, your, you know, the coaches firing up halftime probably had something to do with that as well, right? Yeah. Uh, the coaches did a lot. I think more it was our senior leadership. You know, We just kind of said, hey, get your feet underneath you. It's not a big deal. We wanted to start over when we came out the second half. It was 14-14. It was nothing. We don't want to blow it out of proportion. So what we just want to do is stay calm, just do our jobs. Okay, let's talk a uh, you come out and you, you force the fumble. You get the field goal on the very next drive. You get that. Uh, you get an interception. You run it back. Uh, that, that seemed to kill kill what chances they had. It turned a, a, a ten or turned it uh, really quickly for your side. Yeah. Hey, pick six for a D lineman's every D lineman's dream. So hey, I was lucky to get it. That was, that was fun. All right. Let's talk again. You mentioned your senior leadership. You got nine seniors to start for your defense. How important is it to have? Not only the senior leadership playing on the field, but also helping out the, the younger guys to, to help them grow as, at, in a game like this. We got the nine seniors, but I think we also got either two or three sophomores. So I think it's important just to be positive with them. If they make a mistake, don't jump them too much. Just be positive. Uh, we all hold ourselves accountable and hold each other accountable to do our job. And it's a lot easier when you know the guy behind you has got your back. All right. Okay, thanks. Once again, uh, C uh, Dixie beats Cedar Hills 45-14. Thanks. Thank you.